After seven months of not sleeping a lot, I finally received my first ever YouTube paycheck. So in this video, I'll take you into my YouTube analytics and I'll show you exactly how much YouTube has paid me with 8,000 subscribers. And I'll show you how much I make per video. And for those of you who are interested in creating your own YouTube channel, I'll walk you through a little bit in terms of what you need in order to be monetized on YouTube. But firstly, I wanna say thank you for giving me some of your time each week and I'm really hoping that when we spend time together, we have learned something brand new that you can use in your investing journey or even in your life. And most importantly, thank you for allowing me to be me because I really don't know how to be anyone else. And because of your support, YouTube gave me a chance to be creator on the rise. And I had no idea that was happening. I just got a notification and next thing I know, I was on the trending page. And if there's any topic you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comment section below. I read all your comments and I tr I'll try and reply to all the comments, but sometimes they just slip past me. Now, this is just a bonus video for this week. On Thursday, I'll be talking about REITs and on Sunday, I haven't quite decided yet, but it's likely that I'm gonna be talking about ASX tech stocks. Now, I'll also leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to jump to a section, whichever that interests you the most. Of course, if you wanna continue supporting me, just gently smash that like button right there and that's more than enough. So without further ado, I'll talk a little bit about the requirements to be monetized on YouTube and then we're gonna jump into YouTube analytics. So in order to be monetized on YouTube, you need two things. One, you need a thousand subscribers and then two, you need 4,000 watch hours. Once you have ticked both of those boxes, YouTube will assess your channel to see whether it would be a good fit for the YouTube partner program, which is when they start placing ads on your videos. So I was monetized on the 3rd of June, 2020. And at the time I had 2,394 subscribers. So it's been a little bit, just over two months now, and I just got my first paycheck. So how the payment system actually works is that YouTube will look at the entire month of June and you actually don't get paid until the 21st of the next month. So let me take you into YouTube analytics so that you can see how much I get paid uh, over the entire month. Now for the month of June, I got paid $1,475. I released nine videos altogether and I'll talk about these metrics in just a second. And every day I average, for the, for the month of June that is, every day I average approximately 40 bucks, give or take. Uh, some days I earn a little bit more and some days I earn just a little bit less, but on average it's somewhere between the 40 to about $80 mark. Sorry, just a minor correction. I actually received additional income from my blog as well. So altogether, along with YouTube, for the month of June, I earned $1,515. That was only recently paid out in July. Now, playback CPM is essentially how much are advertisers willing to pay for a thousand views. Now, this is not the money that you get paid, it's just what advertisers are willing to pay. The finance, investing, basically anything to do with money, advertisers are willing to pay more for it. So I probably have one of the higher CPMs. So if you look at other investing YouTubers, it's very likely that they have anywhere between 30 to about 40 CPM. And if you have a more general topic, like for example, gaming or, or music, their CPM will be significantly lower. They'll be anywhere between 10 to about five bucks, give or take. That's just because for those videos, are advertisers willing to put ads on those? And, and if there's not enough advertisers that wanna put ads on those, the playback CPM is likely gonna be much lower. And the playback CPM actually changes as well. Sometimes it'll be a little bit higher, sometimes it'll be a little less. I'll show you on an individual basis in terms of what that CPM is for each of my videos in June. Now. RPM is essentially what you get paid per thousand views. So for YouTube, YouTube actually takes a 45% cut of what you make and then the rest of that 55% is yours. For me, I will get paid $16 for every thousand views. Of course, sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And it seems like my RPM is generally trending upwards. Now, I wanna make a really quick note here that I don't look at my statistics for revenue that often. I'm really trying to focus on the content because as long as I take care of the content, the money will come. So I'm not too fussed and I'm just showing you exactly what's happening in my back end. So for the month of June, I received 89,000 views. And there's a difference between estimated monetized playback compared to views because 
um, if the video played without ads on them, they're not eligible for revenue. So, so this number will always be a little bit less compared to the views. And for the month of June, I received 1,475 bucks. At 1,075 bucks, I released nine videos in the month of June. It means that I get paid approximately $163 per video. Now, it takes me about 20 hours end to end to complete a single video. And that's just because I spent about eight to 12 hours of research, depending on how complex the topic is. And uh, the reason why I spend so much time on research is because when we spend time together, I need to make sure that the time spent is fruitful. You either learn something new or something useful that you can apply in your lives. So that's really important to me. So the research input is there to make sure to essentially quality control. And then it takes me about two to three hours to capture the footage and then four to five hours to edit the video and the rest, which is like thumbnail descriptions, titles, takes me about one and a half hours. So altogether it takes me about 20 hours per video. And so as of recording this video, I can't quite do YouTube full time just yet. I still have to do my client work to make sure that I can pay the bills. And But the goal for this year is to be able to find a way to create content for you full time because I am just really, really enjoying the journey right now. I'm really enjoying the process. So I wanna find ways so that I can do more of it. Anyway, on that note, if you wanna know exactly what I did to ultimately be monetized on YouTube within about say seven months, make sure you gently smash the like button right there. And if this video gets 500 likes, I'll create a full video, like a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what I did to get here. The reason why I don't wanna to do too many of these is because you're subscribed to me for investing content. So I wanna make sure that all of my effort is predominantly spent on investing content. Unless people just really wanna watch how to create a YouTube channel uh, and how to be monetized, then, then I'll create a full video on that. Now, let's go back to the analytics screen. For playback CPM, um, just to reinforce, playback CPM is essentially what advertisers are willing to pay per thousand views. With some topics is a little bit higher, some topics is a little bit less. So for example, the ASX growth stocks, is about $31. And for the dividend stocks, uh, I guess not as many advertisers wanna pay for per thousand views, so it's about $19. And of course, the higher the playback CPM, the higher the RPM. And these numbers also change uh, month on month depending on how many advertisers are willing to bid on that video. YouTube income is very like roller coaster, not very consistent at all. So since June, it's been about two months and I grew from two, 2,300 subscribers to about, to about 8,000. So I understand the responsibility when it comes to uh, getting more subscribers. So uh, moving forward, I see this as an opportunity to research even more uh, and, and share more of my knowledge with you. So, so when I started this channel, the objective is really simple. I just wanna document my journey to financial independence and the ups and downs and basically hide nothing from you. So as you can see, some people have liked the Tesla video, some people don't, and I'm absolutely okay with that. And if I made a mistake, you have learned from my mistake. I am an open book, except for my physical address or my credit card details. If there's any questions you want to ask me, just make sure you either let me know in the comment section below or I have a link to my Discord server in the description as well. So feel free to talk to me however you want to talk to me. That's essentially it for this video. My next video is going to be REITs Australia for passive income as well as ASX tech stocks. So. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click onto the bell so that when those videos are ready, you'll be the first one to know. And until next time, my name is David. Auto will always do the honors and see you very, very soon.